Congratulations, Mr. Morial, on being honored here at our Black Men Excel Awards. Uh, what does this award mean to you? Well, to stand alongside of Jerome Bettis, Eddie Levert, and Reverend Jesse Jackson, that's special because uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson has been a person uh, that I've looked up to. He's been a role model. He's been, in, at times, a mentor. Uh, of course, Eddie Levert, uh, I grew up on the OJ's music uh, and just admire his commitment and his endurance and his longevity. And Jerome Bettis is a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's a great uh, person. He's a committed athlete. Uh, and to be stand alongside of them and to be honored alongside of them by the legendary Black Enterprise family is, uh, is special. And you yourself, former mayor, now president and CEO of the National Urban League and so much more. I mean, you've been really carrying the legacy of the, of the civil rights movement into the 21st century. Uh, can you talk about your role in making sure that everyone is treated fairly and equal in 2019? It's been an incredible honor for me to go from a career as an elected official, uh, as mayor of New Orleans, as a state legislator, and before that as a lawyer, uh, practicing civil rights law and, and, and doing litigation, to this role for the last 15 years as head of the iconic National Urban League, and the chance to reshape how we think about civil rights. We have to think about it in a broader way. We have to think about it in a basic way. We have to think about this generation's important responsibility to protect the gains of our foremothers and forefathers while forging ahead into the 21st century. What would you say is the biggest threat to democracy as we know it today? White supremacy and white nationalism are the biggest threats to democracy because white nationalism and white supremacy have as their premise a hatred of all that are not like them. Uh, and that's inconsistent with this idea of democracy, which is based on justice and freedom and everyone's right to participate uh, in our political system and everyone's right to participate in our economy. Uh, I think that that's the number one threat. We as African Americans, we as black people have made democracy what it is. Our participation in changing America, particularly uh, in the 1950s and 1960s and 1970s so that everyone can participate in the democratic system, I think has changed the values of the country. How would you describe your legacy? I want my legacy to be what I did for others. I want my legacy to be that wherever I had a chance to serve or stand, I made it better. Uh, I improved it. Uh, I want my legacy to be that I stood for something and fought for something, uh, but was never pig-headed about it.